Hi, I'm Sasha Cotton with the Minneapolis Office of Violence Prevention, where I'm the director. Jen White, I'm the Interagency Engagement Manager with the Office of Violence Prevention. In the Office of Violence Prevention, we do believe wholeheartedly that violence is preventable. We know that just like cancer, we can treat, mitigate, and address violence through a public health lens to make our communities safer. So the main kind of conditions um, around uh, the existence of violence are really centered around scarcity of resources within a community in the way that not all communities experience violence at the same rates. And unfortunately, our Black and Brown communities experience violence at a much higher rate than other communities in our city. So therefore, that's where we put a focus of our resources and our programming to address those needs. So here in Minneapolis, we're actually using three evidence-informed or based strategies. That's our group violence intervention strategy, which is really focused on bringing communities, law enforcement, and social services together to create opportunities for young people involved with groups and gangs to get on a trajectory away from violence. Our second implementation is our hospital-based work, which is called Next Step. And it's really about creating an opportunity for people who have experienced harm coming to our hospitals with a serious injury from violence to receive the important services of navigating the healthcare system and getting on the right track when they're recovering from those serious injuries and avoiding retaliatory violence. And lastly, our newest implementation is the Violence Interrupters, which is really about having a clear and persistent presence of community members focused on interrupting group violence, gun violence, and providing safety for community members most vulnerable. Community to me means how are we being most inclusive and bringing in the voices who aren't at the table. I very strongly believe in being a bridge um, between community and city hall. And how am I using my position to ensure that those voices are brought to the table and that they have an opportunity to weigh in on decisions that impact their everyday lives. Although the work is really hard and it's really taxing, and we know that we're not doing this alone. We are doing this to make a better community for everyone, not only my young sons, but your young children as well, and for generations to come. I am Minneapolis. Minneapolis.